Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all those who do not feel represented by an oppressive gender binary, hello and welcome. I'm your dance commander, Christy, and we are going to be playing some PUBG Rando Edition, where I roll some dice and we see precisely what rules I'm going to be playing by. I feel like I'm a little loud. Let's turn me down a touch. Uh, let's talk about that music first real quick. That was Dance Commander by Electric Six. My god, I love Electric Six. They are just no frills, don't even worry about it, mindless dance music. You know? You, sometimes you get dance music and it's like, do I want to be dancing to this? Because it feels like they're espousing some like points of view that I think are problematic. <laughs> I'm not super happy about dancing to this. What are you going to do? Electric Six isn't like that. Electric Six is just... They have songs that are about two things. They have songs that are about dancing, and then they have songs that are about consensually fucking other people. The consensual is important, and sometimes they have songs that are combinations of the two. It's it's simple and clean. It's the way that it's making me feel tonight. Right, exactly. Like Gay Bar. Or uh, the other one that everyone knows is... Uh, Yes, thank you. High Voltage, which has a fantastic video. All of their videos are fantastic, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Andy. It's like the answer to Conan's what is best in life. To dance before your enemies. See them fucking before you. I've lost the thread on this quote. <laughs> All right. I actually got to see Electric Six live once. They came in for uh, for OKC Music Fest up at the fucking up at the college. It was it was a perfect lineup for me. It was it was Electric Six and then The Sword, which is a ludicrously over the top metal band, and then Keller Williams, who is a one man act who makes incredibly intricate songs using loop pedals. Like Reggie Watts, only slightly less comedic, but not not comedic. It's a, it was a really fucking fun show. Uh, anyway, enough of, enough of this reminiscing. You're here to watch me shoot the men's, so let's hit this button and get into some player unknowns battleground. Why do you keep changing what size you are? Why do you do this to me? Uh, I'm just trying to get you to look nice in front of the people. You are embarrassing me. All right. Also, that sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this is the part where Reggie Watts would look straight at me and say, comedic? I don't understand. <laughs> Babelgrounds, my homeland. I'm, uh, I'm glad you, to bring you back to your home. So, for those of you who have not seen this before, it says PUBG Randomizer down there, and the reason it says PUBG Randomizer down there is that we have this wonderful little device. There it is. Uh, we're going to smash this Let's Roll button, and it's going to give us one through six. It's going to tell us what kind of game we're playing today. Uh, we're going to be playing a couple of games. It's not, it's not just the one. But... Uh, I think that's good. Without further ado, let's just knock right into it. Number four, the jackal. The jackal. I need to fix this to where A, the button doesn't disappear when I mouse over it, and B, the text box doesn't get huge when I mouse over it. We will work on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will work on it later. In the meantime, let's shoot the men's. So the jackal. Uh, I've also heard this called a spoils run. CJ unavailable for comment. Uh, the way this works is that I can only pick up weapons off of corpses or out of loot boxes. I have to scavenge. Uh, hence the jackal, because jackals are scavengers. And also because, uh... I think Allison Janey is very attractive, and seeing her, like, do a uh, sultry dance in the West Wing was a, kind of a thing. I'm 
I'm not too proud to say it. We are also, uh, here in a minute, gonna have some music as provided by my wonderful wife, uh, Katie, DJ Arcadia, who also streams here on Squirrel Lily. She does uh, every Friday. I do every Monday. It's a wonderful sandwich to the work week. Don't you shush me. Oh, you're shushing, uh... Are you, are you just waiting? Are you just waiting in the wings for your chance to pop out and jump scare me? Alrighty, so... It's a secret that you stream here? I don't think it is. Your name's on the, the, the schedule and everything. Alright. So our first order of business, because we can't pick up weapons, the easiest way for us to get weapons off of corpses is to make corpses via running them over with a car. So I'm trying to look at this zone and see where we're gonna... Yes, you're correct. I'm sorry. Running them over with a truck. And I want to see going to be best for us. I'm going to take a jump all the way over to here because sometimes a car will spawn outside this little four poster and I've had good luck with that in the past on this type of run. So, oh, I should have changed the OBS overlay too so people coming in will know what's happening. I'll change that in a minute. Let's uh, get done with our, uh, let's get done with our, with our drop. All right, Edgar. Now drop a truck on him. Did you get 300,000 viruses? Yes. Very yes. Oh, hang on. I think we got it. There's certainly something parked right there. I don't know if it's rusted out, though. No, I think that's a rusty one. I think that's a rusty boy. I don't think we can use that. Yeah. I, what, oh, right. I was like, what the hell is this noise? And it's like, no, the music, right? The music is happening. All right, so that was a bust. Uh, we need to find a road then. I've also had good luck for uh, vehicles in this little triangle here, either here or here or back here. So we're gonna have a look for that. is Things in Life by Nameless Warning. I like it. It's very, uh, it's very bumping. Uh, well, if nothing else, I think the, because our plane drop was here, we're probably about as far east as anyone else, so I don't anticipate being runned up on. I could be wrong. I'm completely prepared to just die any second, because we're just kind of running out here, but I think we're safe for at least a little while. I am pretty sure I can procure a vehicle before this becomes a problem. I say, but this road's like absolutely empty. Watch ad for a better start? Why stroke ad? I don't know what kind of... Uh, that seems weird. Is that something they're doing on, like, mobile? Please tell me that's not something they're doing on mobile. I've heard a lot of good things about the PUBG Mobile Edition. Oh, the clones are. That makes sense. Um... Well, I'll tell you what else we'll do. We'll get over this hump to see if we can't see a vehicle on the other side of it. And then I'm gonna fiddle around with OBS for just a second. Um, no, it doesn't really look like it. I'm not super happy about it. I'm used to there being, like, a... 
car or something like right around here. But uh, it doesn't look like that's the way it's going. Where's the plane coming from? Is that gonna go over us? This jam is fly app. Oh no, that's way the hell over there. We're not getting to that. Good, so we're just gonna duck down. Like I said, we're probably absolutely safe. I'm just gonna get into OBS and look this up. Scavenger run, perfect. And now, sort that down. Perfect. Uh, no, don't crouch either. I want you to run. Jiffy Lube. That made sense in my head. I'm, cu I'm curious as to what it was trying to connect to. Something that I misread, okay. Alright, well... All other things being equal, we need to get into the zone. So we're just gonna travel along this road real quick, see if we can't get lucky. Uh, how's my uh, my voice compared to the music? By the way, is that all right? I'm not I'm not shouting, and I am audible. Is that a thing? Those both of those statements are true. Excellent balance on that end, alrighty. I'll take care- ooh, there we go. Look look up. See your truck in the distance. I said, I see your truck in the distance. Remember those? Remember those old New Day promos? Like, right before they came out, when they were with a choir? When it looked like they were gonna be like Presbyterian ministers. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Uh, next order of business is to find someone and then introduce them to the front of the vehicle. Is that why they call the New Day? Yeah, that's why, because it was a. Uh, and that's why their intro music still has the like very rhythmic clapping and uh, whoa -oh -oh in the background. Every every pedestrian is just a pinata waiting to happen. Oh my God, Andy, that's not okay. It's okay for right now. Right now, that's funny. I'll be horrified by it in like two hours. In PUBG land, everything is okay. I mean, you're not wrong, I guess. In PUBG land, uh... Oh, what's the goddamn Assassin's Creed line? Nothing is forbidden, everything is... accepted. That's not it. That's close to that. Let's not tempt fate in the, uh... Are we losing frames, or is that my client? Uh, no, I think we're losing a little bit of frames, but it's okay. It's uh, having a little bit of a hiccup, but uh, it looks pretty fine now. It's running smoothly. The game itself is running smoothly. We can just uh, we can just kind of deal with it for a second. I think it'll fix itself. So, given that we're not finding people, I guess the other thing to look out for are loot drops. Because we're going to need a weapon eventually. Oh 
over here. What? Nah, don't. I heard that. I heard the start of an episode of Boglin Watch. Right, uh, a weapon other than the truck. Oh, I didn't name you. What are you called? Amanda. Hi, Amanda. She's a, a proud, sturdy, uh, she's a proud, sturdy truck. Don't need no man. Oh, there's someone. Check it out, we're Mad Max now. Hey, come on. Come back here, I want to hit you. Ow. Um. <laughs> oh, I had literally nothing, dude. I was trying to kill you with that car. Yeah. How about it? <laughs> that went about as bad as it could have gone. I just leaped right over that car like a... Right over that skeleton truck like a salmon to land in a space where I can't move backwards or forwards. Look at this positioning. You can't try for that. Alright. Oh, that was fun. What's next? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what's next. Very quickly, I'm gonna pop the tab off this beer. This is a, uh, chocolate sombrero, Mexican-style chocolate stout from Clown Shoes Beer. I bought it for literally no other reason. Well, it's a chocolate stout, and I like chocolate stouts, but the picture on it is a Mexican wrestler wearing a sombrero and clown shoes. He's got forearms like Goro, and he's leaping off the top rope. Don't know what the hell that is. Beer's all right, though. Yes, also he has incredibly hairy armpits. All four of his armpits are incredibly hairy and no other body hair. It's kind of gross, but kind of great. Uh, I'll share a picture. Oh, no, hang on. There we go. Parting the kimono a little bit. Oh, no, you can see the screen capture. All right, let's roll. Okay, we're not taking a double. Okay, that's fine. We're just we're just gonna have a nice little, uh, normal PUBG game real quick. It'll be a, you know, we got all of our jitters out with the... with the run where we smashed into a thing and died instantly. So, we're gonna move into this now. It's gonna be a nice warm-up. Uh, just play with some regular rules and then we'll jump right back into wacky shit. Excuse me. I'm trying not to belch into this mic. Here we go. And let's change this because we're not in scavenger run. Just, you know, while we're waiting on the load. Because it's going to do that. Uh, nope, double no again. We need to break that back down. There we go. Wonderful. You can't just calm. That's that's not for anyone. You can't just calm like it's nothing. Let's see how far we can get away from Zarki before this timer starts. Can we get to Windmill Town? I'm pretty sure we can get to Windmill Town in 15 seconds. Maybe I shouldn't go to Windmill Town because it'll put me on tilt. It's not even a good joke. I'll not calm down. You calm down. Alright, where are we at? Uh, uh, what can we do? Uh, Lepovka is probably doable. We can 
get to this warehouse, but there's probably going to be people jumping with this, so I'm not certain if I care about that. Um, I'll tell you what, I haven't been much to my palatial estate in a while, so let's try that. My, uh, you can see right there at the end of the lane as it passes, I'm keeping it on the, on the right wing of the lane. My beautiful palatial estate like five houses, some of them are probably got stuff in them. Some of them are probably got stuff in them. Some of them are probably got stuff in them. I'm uh, I'm a professional. I speak words into a microphone. Uh, I'm good at it. I make it happen. No, no, I'm sorry, you're correct, Alice. No, too, some of them are probably got stuff in them. I think two of them is going to have plenty of stuffs inside. One day I'm going to be tired of the I talk wrong joke, but it's not going to be today. Uh, we're losing some people already. Some people dying to fall damage. Got some headshots in there. Bunch of... Ooh, little boy lover just took out three people with a shotgun. That ain't nothing. Don't, don't worry, none, Andy. My bad talk words are always beezing around. <laughs> Homestar Runner is 16 years old and talking wrong hasn't stopped being funny. <laughs> You're correct. By the way, if you haven't seen the new Homestar Runner cartoon stroke strong bad email that came up on April Fool's Day, you're, uh, you're missing out. It's so good. <laughs> I, uh, we're just gonna grab all this. I shared it to Mastodon because fucking of course I did. Let's reload. It goes off the rails and then it eats the rails and then it shits out the rails that it ate. Not wrong. Not the- ooh, hey! Automatic pistol. That's always a good day. I see these houses be have plenty of ammo and gun style inside. These are wonderful houses, correct with all, correct with all loots. I feel like I'm sliding a little bit too much into Dave's spokesman. <laughs> There's a new Dave's spokesman too, but less people are casually enthused about that. How, ma how many of the house are have things stuck in their room floors? Every of the house have a room stuck with floor with floor items. Each and every beautiful one. Is that compensator? I don't want that. I mean, I do want that, but I don't have anything to put it on, so it kind of doesn't matter. There's a helmet, get some yeah, nine millimeter ammo, why not? So many damn SMG stuffs. Uh actually let's load up what we have. There we go. That's what we want. Nine millimeter shares uh, ammo with our automatic pistol, so that's a lightened load. Let's go back in here and grab all that stuff. Extended smeg meg. Well, nope, nope, not that one. Not that one, and not that way.
You don't, no, what? No, don't aw Meg. That's, that's, uh, you can't hear her, but my wife just said a grotesque thing. She was apparently quoting Red Dwarf. I don't actually think that makes it better. Ah, uh, it's an AKM. I don't want an AKM. Uh, here's some Molotov cocktail. No, I, I, I get it. I get that it's a thing from the show. I need you to quit saying that. Uh, shotgun, bandages, on my arms and my eyes for you. That's a reference for, you know, some people. Hey, kids, did you do music in the early 2000s in Oklahoma? And perhaps you heard Bandages, a song from a band called The Used. They're from Choctaw, Oklahoma, so... Being an Oklahoman, I heard them a lot because we don't have a lot of things to be proud of in Oklahoma. So a mildly successful pop punk band was what we hung our hat on. Mildly popular pop punk bands and middling college football teams. That's our pride. Pride and joy. Right, and country superstars beat their wives. It's really, you know, it's not great. It could be better. Uh, we're, like, pretty kitted up, honestly. I'm very happy about this setup. I would love maybe a suppressor. Here's a Another 2x scope, which I absolutely don't need. What I would really love is a... Hey, SKS! I say it here, it comes out there. What a time to be alive. We're gonna get rid of this M16. I was gonna use that for long range anyway. It's even got an extended mag. Holy shit. What a time to be alive. Uh, let's make sure we load that. And that rest up here. I, ha I haven't even looked at the map yet. Ooh, that's gross. Pretty much all of that is in play. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Let's let's get in here, I think. Yeah, let's get in there. There's that little series of three houses. I quite like those. And then we can move from there to the warehouse. It's long sight lines there, too. It's all this rolling field, which we're at the top of, so I think we'll be able to see someone if there's, you know, someone trying to cheesy green up on me. You know, I'm not saying he's cheesy green up on him or anything. It's more like uh, Ecuadorian sleep, if you get my picture. That's a 12 ounce mouth quote, which means I might as well have just been speaking gibberish. Uh, how are we looking out here? Ooh, there's a, uh, there's a half truck over here. We're absolutely gonna grab this half truck. Have a, oh, good, you don't even have a fucking uh, sidecar on you, because sidecars are death traps. And we will just slide right in here, like the Goo Goo Dolls. And I'll do anything you ever dreamed to be complete. Why are you on single fire? What is the goddamn point of putting a micro Uzi on single fire? 
it makes no sense logically. It's a wasted gun. <laughs> Extended quick draw mag, so that's a step up. To be honest with you, I'd be pretty happy to chuck the micro Uzi for, uh. Uh, UMP. That'd be nice. But, uh, that's not really a thing that's happening. Absolutely, take some more, uh, 762 for the SKS. All about that. All about that base. Can I get in here? I already got in there. Ooh, another SKS. Um, well, we're gonna take the ammo out of it. Not certain how much help that is. If someone comes across it and decides they want to do, uh and decides they want to do a, a sniper rifling, I don't think it's going to stop them from picking up an SKS. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, I didn't give you a name. Barry. Everybody say hi to Barry. Barry's going to take us through this wonderful little adventure. Barry's got a full tank, too. I'm really happy about that. You good, Barry? You gonna fall over again? Nah, you're fine. Uh, is a shotgun choke? That rumble is Barry going off still, right? Yeah, it's gonna take a second for Barry to turn on. Ooh, there's a scar. And that's why we don't throw away extended mags. Extended max. There we go. You might notice my scar looks a little different. We had a we had a major update to PUBG, which was gun skins, uh, because it was the thing everyone was clamoring for. Uh, another dumb thing to have bots jump all over and turn games into grotesque messes. What are you gonna do? It actually hasn't been that bad. It was really bad the day it dropped. Um, on the other hand, I just happen to passively have enough, uh... Yeah, gun skins. I, I think that I'm being shitty about them right now. But I have bought two of the gun skin boxes and sold them for $2 a piece. So, I'm about halfway to, uh... I'm about halfway towards getting myself a new... Like, a new, new game. What are we gonna do? Do we want a mermaid in, or should we just go to, to there? We should just go to there. If I start taking too many shots, we'll, we'll deal with it. Also, I heard mis whispers of a new map. Yes, Andy, I also heard those whispers. Uh, I think the uh, I think the conceit is that it's going to be a shorter map. Are you on my plan? You're straight up on my plan. I don't like that you're on my plan, bruh. No. over the hill side, or, or not. Yeah, it's a smaller map for, like, quicker games, I think is the idea. I, I don't know a lot about it. I agree that Rusted Dystopian Factory would be pretty cool. And might give some, uh... You know, you could do some passive storytelling in there in that space. We're just gonna slowly coast in. Just right out front. Where the hell that plane? Oh my god, really? Um... That's gonna be in the water. You know what that means. Now I'll do a dance. Um, let's try not to die as we negotiate these rocks. 
we can get down there just fine. I'm a little concerned about getting back up. I'm also a little worried that we're gonna get shot to death by someone who's also coming for the drop. Or those seagulls. Fuck those seagulls. Parkour, but slow. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna crack this bitch wide open. Uh, there's an AIDX scope, there's a military vest, there's an M24? Really? Yes. Please and thank you. Uh, and, uh, ammo, and dead, and dead. Okay, well, uh, we got in and got out. I think the military vest is what saved our lives there. Um, because we would have absolutely been fucked otherwise. As it is, we lost a lot of health. Yeah, they're still taking good shots. Um... Can I see where you are? Not really. Yeah, you're down there. Um, I just gotta get up and get breath. Spanking new sniper rifle. And see if we can't pull out apart whoever's over here. I understand why I was so tired now the migraine just kicked in. I'm so sorry. You also have my sympathies. Migraines are the opposite of fun. I'm fortunate in that my entire life I've had exactly one migraine. It was quite possibly one of the worst experiences I've ever had, and I just kind of had to... I just kind of had to sit in a quiet corner with all the lights off for like an hour and a half. Before my brother came to see me, and he was like, why the hell are you sitting in the kitchen in the dark? I was like, I think I have a migraine because everything hurts and light sucks. He was like, oh, that's, uh, I know how to fix that and provided an herbal remedy. She said, choosing words carefully. Um, well, this could be worse. I'm not gonna lie to you, it could be a lot better. Oh, can we, can we Skyrim our way up this? Oh, no, not quite. What about here? Come on, we just need to... Good thing for these pills, it shouldn't hurt for too much longer. That's good. Uh, no, that's not really happening. Follow this bike with our ears, and it's gonna stop pretty much exactly where I want to go, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, mantling. Mantling, you are my best friend. Green man saving your life right now. We're just going to stay right here in this little divot. As invisible as possible. 
when I tried to treat my migraine like that, I just ended up dizzy, nauseous, and in just as much pain. Yeah. I can see that also. It's it's not a hundred whatever literally every person who smokes weed tries to tell you. It's not a it's not a beautiful, perfect cure all. Which isn't to say it like doesn't have any medical effects. But CBD helps long term, yeah. Which you know very well, cause uh, we got that uh, that vaporizer, which appears to be helping. I of course am not living your experience, but you tell me it's helping, and I believe you. Man, this is just coming in, isn't it? I'm not happy about it. About a 75% decrease in frequency. That's wonderful. Okay, well, look at this. We are still more or less inside the circle. We need to get up a little bit, and the thing about that is it's going to put us out of cover, like kind of just in the middle of a yard, which is suboptimal, but I think we can just stay right here, more or less, right up until the... Right up until the thing happens. Right up until the zone moves in again. I could use my words. I can do a thing with my mouth. Turn ideas into sounds. Your heads didn't use palm oil as recently as two years ago. Oh shit, or... The, did the airheads not pass the tests? I thought I caught them all. I am sorry. I got Alice a bag of candy uh, for for Easter because it said Swedish Fish and Sour Patch Kids on it, and she really likes those. And uh, she shares an allergy to uh, to coconut things, which is a real bummer. But uh, I thought I stripped all the ones that have coconut oil in them out. I guess not. There's someone over that way. I feel like I should be seeing you move, but I'm not. So let's kneel up real quick. Oh, I can't see you through the... can't see you through the long grass, so that's not really what we want either. I definitely heard shots coming from that way. Swedish fish are legit the best candy. Uh, they're real good. I'm not going to sit here and say they're not. On the other hand, they're not snow caps, so... You know, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, there you are. I can see you. You're crawling, too. You're right over by that rock. So I guess I'm just going to hang out here for a second while I wait for movement. There's some shots way in the distance over that way to our southeast. Someone's got a Groza, which I'm not super happy about. Josh is getting nice and cozy next door. You know, we're, uh, we're delicious neighbors. What was Josh's new name? Jafar, I think you're thinking of.
You're straight up behind this tree. Don't think I don't know you're behind this tree. Just gonna Ooh. Um, well, here's the thing about this. They're not in zone either. Oh, yeah, I think I got took from behind there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Was that you behind the tree, or... Uh, did I get taken from behind? Nah, that was you still. Good on you. Just, just cold waiting. Just doing the exact same thing. Yeah, I stuck my head out just a little too far and got platted. Yeah, what are you gonna do? That's a pretty good round, though. Made 13. Didn't quite sneak into the top 10, but nah. You know, it's not about the uh, it's not about the placement. It's about the friends we murder along the way. I'll take another sip of this chocolate sour real quick. Creamy, delicious, literally, actually. For a, for a, like, four pack that was six bucks, this is actually super useful. Ten, ten frames of nudity. I do not know what that means. Is that a Fight Club reference? Oh, because the, took for a second for the, the costume to load in. I get you. I, I know what things are. All right, let's bring the roll box back up and see what we're doing. Uh, chat chooses drop. Why not? So, no, need to do this the right way so that we don't get weird picture in picture still. All right, so uh, the people who are in chat right now knows how it works, but for the uh, for everyone else who might be watching this later, mm, excuse me. Uh, I am going to be hitting start, and, oh my god, quit yelling school. I'm going to hit start, we're going to see which map we're on, and between me getting into the lobby and me getting loaded into the air truck, we're going to choose where I drop. I have to get there first before I can pick up any weapons or equipment or anything. And once we get to whatever position the chat chooses for us, we'll start our game and uh, try our best to make it happen. I maybe could have explained that during the loading time, because this is going to just... I would get the feeling it's going to be a second. Is there a bar down here? So how are y'all doing in chat? Andy, uh, um, I saw that you were going to play Battle Block Theater, and I was super duper interested in that. I'm sorry it didn't happen. Alright, well, we're on Reingel. Which, which means we can drop at school. We can, uh, save this bloodlust that Katie apparently has. Where, do you understand you're cursing me to, like, lose instantly? Fox versus Fox, no items. Uh, it's been a heck of a day, not exactly bad, just harried. So stream getting bumped is just sort of par for the course today. Oh. 
If anime has taught me anything, school is where you go to die. You're, you're not wrong. That's, uh... Literally every anime I've ever seen. Uh... Uh, Assassin Classroom, Beyond the New World, uh, Soul Eater. I'm super looking forward to getting to stream Battle Block Theater, though. It's such a fun game. Kill a Kill, yeah, also a good one. Ah, oh, shit, and our uh, plane trajectory is taking us right over the sucker, too, so it's not like we're gonna jump far away and then kind of get there. Nah, it's just, uh... It's just gonna be a knockdown drag-out brawl. I, I hope you're all ready. Karui Suzumaya, from a certain point of view, I believe you? I'm not familiar with that one. All right, well, we're just gonna angle ourselves straight down. I think we're gonna see some people pop before us, which isn't something I'm excited about. Now, I could, I suppose, get onto the school ground, say, okay, I got it, and then run away, but that's not the... That's not in the... Oh god, that's so many fucking people. That's not in keeping with what we're doing here. No, please, just get stuck there. That's so good. This is such a good game. Oh no, oh no, extra person. Oh no, that was running up towards a person and then there was another person that they were running away from and now I'm dead. Well, that was a fun round. That shot to the ribs, yeah, just just right in the just right in the dingle dangle. Right in every dingle dangle I have. Am I peeking? I'm peeking a little bit. Eh, I think I'm fine. Uh, let's bring the roll box back up. Okay. I'm glad that we're getting different stuff every time. Or, not every time. We had, like, a repeat a little while ago that I passed on. But, that we're getting to see so many of the different ones. So, let's... Uh, let's bring out the roll box and hit start. So, this one's going to be our pacifist run. Which, you know, does what it says on the tin. We're gonna drop, preferably away from people. Uh, I'm gonna be picking up... Uh, I can pick up anything that doesn't actually cause damage, so... Smoke grenades are okay, uh, armor and helmets are fine. Flashbang, sure. Just, uh... Just nothing that can actually cause damage to my opponents. And we'll see how far I can get. Yes, and scopes. I, technically, I suppose I can pick up any... Like, weapon attachment, but I'm taking scopes so that other people won't have scopes. Alright, and this one in theory, should last a little longer. Uh, what does this drop zone look like? Uh, I kind of don't like any of this. Let's take a long, long look at ourselves, and... Let's try and get to this little cluster of houses here. I think that's doable. I'm not going to change my name to Scope Collector 420 Triple X Triple X. That's not how we're doing this. Uh, 
And we are just gonna shoot straight southeast. You can see the, like, two farmhouses down there, just under my knees. That's kind of where we're going for. I am pretty sure we can make that without a lot of difficulty. Mm, nah, I feel like I gotta pop early. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna put us right on the... right on the warpath. Or peace path, I guess. Tell me, Snake, do you think love can bloom, even on the battlefield? I don't know about love. I mean, how quickly can you masturbate? I did that joke once before on stream, I think. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. Pinpoint accuracy. Absolutely nothing in the house, but it's the pinpoint accuracy. There's, there's a shirt. Uh, let's take the stun grenade, I guess lack of a better name. Oh, there we go. First aid kit. That's what we want in a backpack. Oh, look at, look at all this ammo and guns I can't pick up. That's a real bummer. Here's bandage. There's a... I picked up a red dot sight without meaning to, which I guess is fine. That's almost a scope. Snack. 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 Awesome little. That's really good. Oh, here comes someone. And there goes someone. They've decided that the farmhouses aren't worth it. Uh, we're in zone. I'm not quite sure how far in zone. I haven't bothered to check yet, but... Um, smoke grenade, sure. Why not? Uh, Fragony, police vest, holographic sight, that's not much better. We'll grab these two little houses here. We are hip deep in throwables, that's true. I'm, which, I'm not against. I think that given... Given our choices, smoke grenades is probably our best chance of survivability. I never pick them up usually because... If I see someone, I would rather, like, pot shot them. Oh, no, we can't get to that. Where's the zone at? We're pretty close in. I think we want to keep going. We'll just keep moving along the coast of that other series of houses. We'll get a little bit further in so that we can just uh, kind of post up and make a space ours. Set up traps, you know, get some claymores down. Uh, those, uh, those barbed wire mats you roll out, right? Maybe get some barricades. Oh wait, this isn't Rainbow Six Siege, it's fucking PUBG, and there's no defensive options. Which I get, it's a very different game. It's not supposed to be a defensive game. But as a almost purely defensive player in a lot of other games, sometimes I feel... less than serviced. Thank you. 
We're just gonna head for that water tower out there. Running through the plains, running on the shoreline. Hope we don't get shot apart by some motherfucker with a big old gun now. This is the breakdown. The drop's gonna come in a minute, you feel it. Dun dun. Dun dun. Just any second now, we're gonna pick it back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on now! Oh. I mistimed it. I. I thought it was gonna come on, come on now. Now we're still. We're still in the breakdown. Um. This is awkward. Drop! No. It. No. It double broke down. I was fooled. Instead of a drop, it has a double breakdown. So that's cool. Thanks, Diabolical Waffle. Thanks for making me look bad on stream. Great. Great. I'm happy for you. Here's your... Here, oh, did you want to drop? Here's, your, here's the drop. Okay, here we go. The drop. No, it's too late now. This is a great beat, but it's too late. You fucking ruined it. I was doing a thing. I was doing a thing and you embarrassed me in front of the internet. Christ. Okay. Oh. I will happily take that police vest. Please and thank you. Um. There's a padded jacket. Why not? Uh, because there's a bigger coat here. That's why not. There's an energy drink. Some bandages. Uh, we can't pick up the frag grenade. Frag grenades do damage. Hip hop the top. Uh, I can't pick up the Maltov as much as I would love to pick up the Maltov, because I love Maltovs. Don't blame the waffle. I th don't know who else to blame. I mean, besides, you know. Take responsibility for my screw up, but who does that? Responsible people. That's who. Not people who decided to walk into a game of 99 other murderers and not pick up a weapon. Let's grab that. Uh, there's ammo and stuff. Not super interested. There's a car 98k, which I really want to pick up. I'll tell you what, we're already in the top 50, though. Here's a here's a second drop. Does that make it up to you? Yeah, okay. Alright, waff. That's it's fine, we're fine now. I will say, if I weren't playing, to grab the smoke grenade, if I weren't playing Pacifist Run, I would be having a really bad time. Oh, there's a scope. Oh, there's someone. Mm, but I think they're also going away. Can I see them leaving at the side door here? No, it doesn't really sound like it. I'm now kind of afraid that someone's going to come into this house with me, and I'm not really prepared for that mentally. Uh, let's take the back door. Just in case. That's my favorite Carmen San Diego villain. Just in case. Because they all had, like, punny names, right? Just in case was the, like, law official, you know, the law official, the man whose job it is to law, what do you call those? Laws doer. 
He was a law student. You gonna drop that near me? Justin Case was also the name of the lead singer from Perfect Thyroid. True story. I believe you. I don't think I've heard of Perfect Thyroid. I bet they were real big in high school. That was a windmill fucking slam of a joke. Uh oh. Um. No, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. Get on with your business. Oh, you're going for the drop. That makes sense. Ooh, I'll tell you what we can do. We can take that... Uh, we can take this. Skeleton truck we've got here. And we can just drive this son of a bitch. We cannot hit anyone with this son of a bitch. That's a, that's a different game. It's the same game with different rules. But we can take this all the way to... Oh, no. Zone's closed. Mansion? Lepovka? Something like that. We can get far and away from where people were jumping. We can, we can fly away home. Actually, I think the best play for us, health-wise, is to go down to Milta and just mermaid it for a second. I think if we can, like, even, uh, I shouldn't, uh, be hitting the map while I'm going across open ground. Because that means I'm gonna run into something and die. We're gonna get to the other side of Milty here. No, don't honk. Uh. I'm all tense. I got this falcon grip on my, uh, on my mouse right now, and I just honked accidentally, which I'm not super happy about. It's not like I'm making a small amount of noise just moving through this space anyway, but... You know, I don't want to do too much. Do I have a helmet? Yeah, I have a helmet. A level 2 vest. It's not bad. But I think, uh, mermaiding is gonna be the play. Actually... And we might not have to mermaid. Let's get behind this, uh, rocky outcrop back here. We'll park our skeleton truck. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Carolyn. We'll park Carolyn back here. Go on. This is my house. And we're just gonna hang out here for a minute. A literal actual minute until the zone closes. And figure out where we want to go from there. Can we see anybody... in Milta proper? Or in the little shacks over here? No, we're pretty alone out here. I think we're, if, uh... We jumped pretty far. I think we're gonna get to... Oh, we had top 33? Top one-third of people? How about it? I think if people were going to get this far based on the, the plane... Uh, yes, this is the same pacifist run. Based on how the initial plane was, for someone to get this far, I think they also would have had to take a vehicle. I think it wouldn't be quite a quite a hell of a thing to get here on foot. You'd have to run like flat out nonstop the entire time. So where who? I think I saw someone back there, out by that big rock.
All right, so uh, let me, you know, since I have a minute with y'all, let me run this by you. Uh, I want to stay as true to the spirit of a pacifist run as I possibly can. But what do you think about me picking up a rifle but not picking up ammo just so I can have a scope? Like, just so I can see a little bit better? Do we think that breaks the, the covenant of a pacifist run? Do we think that's a little too OP for me? Do we think that's game balance issues? What do we? How do we feel? Alice thinks it's acceptable. This game needs binoculars anyway. And he also thinks it's acceptable. Uh, alrighty. We're, we're not gonna do that right now. Because quite frankly, I'm afraid to move off of my, uh, my little park. Kroger Commando just ran himself over. I'm certain that was a fun experience for Kroger Commando. Once they patch in binoculars, it won't be allowed anymore. I really doubt they'll patch in binoculars. Because, you know, you're supposed to be having guns with scopes on them anyway. Ooh. That's really interesting. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. We're gonna, like, take our skeleton truck and just dive right into the sea. So... Everybody, um, I know we didn't spend a lot of time with Carolyn, but I think she's funky. I like her kind of hazard lights look, and uh, she has served us well for the time we've spent with her. Uh, but everybody wave goodbye. A fitting end for a noble creature. I'd sink right to the bottom, right? Like, this is... I haven't been picking up a lot of stuff, but this is actually rather a lot of weight. Like, I think just having a leather coat completely full of water would bog me down to the point where I could not reasonably swim. This is to say nothing of the heavy boots, helmet, and backpack full of assorted scopes. New run type, do nothing but gather vehicles in a specific spot, become truck master. That's a cute idea, but for, and I might try something like that, but I, for the, like, for the runs I want to do for this stream, I kind of want there to be a victory condition. Like, an in-game victory condition, not a, like, moral victory condition. We're almost back in the zone, which is good, because it's closing in. We regret to inform you it is Jafar. You see, what I don't like about the... about the long coat, and I like so many things about the long coat, I like the idea that becoming the truck master is a moral victory. I mean, it is. 
you know, it's not, uh, it's like Civ, right? There's all sorts of victory conditions. And then sometimes you just want to see if you can make 600 tanks while everyone else has spearmen. And that's a kind of victory in its own. You don't use them to attack anyone, you just kind of sit back with them and understand that you could wipe this whole map out. And then Gandhi nukes you, right? What I'm trying to say is that I play games of civilization from uh, a position of smugness. I go for the smug victory condition. Alright. Ooh, that's a little closer than a want. Uh, what's the smart play? Do we want to stay on that side and just... be in this little divot here? Or do we want to try and go all the way around for the bigger section? I think we're better off served being on this side. As long as we don't see anyone else also on this side. Apparently we have Civ 4 complete on our Prime account. That's the one with Leonard Nimoy. It is. We have Civ 4 complete anyway because I bought it several years ago because I love Civ 4. Not the least of which because of Leonard Nimoy. Uh, there's a, a bunch of good old American shots, like, out that way. It's probably those houses. Sounds like they're in the zone, though. I don't think they're gonna be... ...trying to come after us. Where we are. Here in the water. Sure, but I can't play on your Steam at the same time as you. That's completely fair. Um, well, she said, yawning incoherently. I'm not seeing anyone on these outcroppings unless... That's a boat? No, that's a rock. So, we're just gonna stay right here. Low and slow. Just inside the zone. Deep underwater. Uh, let's take a deep breath real quick. And then dive while we wait. I do really like mermaiding as the aquatic equivalent of weasel lifing. It's very me. By which I mean it's a, a way to survive the game that's completely not conflict-oriented. Ah, shit, that's way in, isn't it? Hmm, I don't really see a good way for us to do this, but let's get up on the ridge and... ...see what the space looks like, because we're gonna have to run. I wonder if it might be worth just, like, waiting until the last possible second and then juking in. Uh -huh. Liam. Liam, I don't like this. Sharking and whaling already both mean very different things. Uh, I'm sadly familiar with sharking. Whaling's a new one. Anyone 
anyone over there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, right, whaling is where you kill whales. I have heard of that. It turns out. It turns out that I did know what whaling was the whole time. We're absolutely gonna get shot to death right here. Which, uh, you know, there's worse ways to die. Huh? someone. Did you see me? No, you were too busy dealing with your own shit. That's good. I'm gonna live that same life, friend. That same weasel life. You are just right on the other side of that ridge, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, let's slam a couple hot bowls. Poor Ritzvi is getting scared of the storm rolling in. Usually Gaston's the one that's scared of the weather. So I'm just gonna let you be my, uh... Mining canary. See how far you get before death happens to you. Oh. Exactly that far, as it turns out. And with a friend. Who's in exactly the space I need to be to live. Uh... You know what? If I can just make it to the top 10, I literally won't care. I just need one other person to die. And your head doesn't hurt as much now. I like that you like Zomatriptan. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Yeah. Hey, made it though. I think I made ninth. Yeah. Top ten. Pacifist run. Best and brightest. Buster rhymes. Let's see the shot that killed me, because I think someone killed me from outside the zone. I don't think it was that dude I was staring at. Ooh, no, you way on the other side too. Completely fair. Yep. Alrighty. Well, we were never gonna win that, right? Winning would require us to kill someone. But, we got in. So, let's start our next run. Let's bring up our handy dandy Rollmeister. That's not the button I want. There it is. And see what we're going to be playing with now. Top 10 on Pacifist is like a double win. I mean, it's not. It's it's not even a single win. But I, I feel I feel good about what I've done. Uh, chat chooses drop again. Alrighty. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's get that started, and I can change OBS in the meantime. I'm not going to do school again. Chooses drop. There we go. That's a little... That's a little 
why it's there it is. Alright, so I'm not gonna do school again, so you're also gonna need to have to come up with something else. <laughs> winner, winner, mid afternoon snack. We're in, we're in Minamar. I, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't school if I wanted to. Although, shooting range, there's not a shooting range here. Graveyard? Alright, we can do graveyard. I'm really enjoying this track. I've got a Pandora playlist that's absolutely full of stuff like this. Oh, Graveyard's like right on the path, too. So, we can just dive bomb this. It's not really a hotbed. Only in like 10% of places and all those are from Awful Squad, that's fair. I've been catching up on Awful Squad. It's, uh... It's really fun. Now that I'm out of the... Now that I'm out of the episodes that I have kind of moral issues with. Yeah, exactly. The post-Robinson years. So, we're gonna bomb in right here. Is there anyone come with us? No, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, everyone went for, like, power plant. That makes sense. People falling all around us. No one kind of wanted to be on this plant. No one wanted to loot graves? Psh, suckers. Everyone knows the dead people have the best guns. That was darker than I meant it for it to be. Exactly, cowards. I mean, what are they gonna do? Reach up to the ground and stop you? They can't. I don't resent Nick Robinson, but letting him go immediately was 100% the correct decision. I don't have a, a good enough view on uh, that incident for which he was let go to have an opinion about it. Uh, but I went back and watched a bunch of Cool Games Inks, and there's some stuff in there that I think is weird. It's it's like not actually a thing I want to get into on stream because it's this is fun. We're having fun right now. I don't I don't want to go into whether or not a person who's mildly famous on the internet may or may not be a douchebag. That's not what I want to do. Hey, Moltov. Never watched much of that. Cool Games Inc. is actually a really good... Um, I presume the podcast is much... The podcast version of it is better, but the, uh, the clips that made it to YouTube are all really good. I've seen some of the most recent stuff from it, but I didn't know Nick was part of it. Yeah, Cool Games Inc., like, that's the reason Cool Games Inc. hasn't been updated in a while, because it was Griffin and Nick uh, bullshitting about bad game ideas for an indeterminate period of time. I don't, I don't wanna... I don't wanna be this. Instead of that, I'm gonna tack a SMG to my... to my uh, extended quick draw mag to my good old fashioned micro Uzi. Because everyone loves the micro Uzi. Twitch just killed the stream on your end? Uh, it's still up on mine. Refresh and it's back. That's wonderful. We are getting a little bit of frame drop. It's, it's getting a little choppy looking, but there's only so much we can do about that. This is probably going to end up being our last round anyway, unless it ends, like, right now. 
It's primarily the weather. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm starting to get a little uh, jumpy in game too, so uh, we'll just call this our last round, and we'll figure out uh, how it goes from there. Well, we won't figure out how it goes from there. We know exactly how it'll go from there. It'll go away. I really love the churches in Miramar. This is, of course, something I would think about, but uh, it's very nice. It's a great setup. I basically, uh, it's ending in the graveyard just as we knew it would. I grew up uh, in the someone running up on. Yep. Oh, do you not have a gun or something, fam? I think we can't find you. That was fun. The buildings look like the Mariachi Trilogy. They do. You had a bunch of stuff. You just didn't have a... You just didn't have a gun. Were you on my plan, fam? Were you having yourself a pacifist run? I'm taking your shirt. Ah, I respect. Oh, I don't respect this explosions that are happening. I should stay inside and away from the explosions. It was a hell of a front flip when they died. The best part is we can probably take that truck. Uh, you know, once the explosions go away, and we figure out what we're doing. Uh, what was the... Where was the plane to and from? Anyone remember? Was it coming in from this way? I think it was. Maybe a little bit more clipped, so I think the best run... Let's see if we can't get in that truck and go all the way to Campo Militaria, because I've never been there. And I'm really interested to see what it's like, because it's so fucking far away that you don't really get the opportunity. Oh right, this is the trouble they ran into, is that their whole sitch is just kind of on truck lock. There we go. Kind of wish buildings could deconstruct dynamically in the red zone. Well, a couple of them can, you know, not here, not in Miramar, but the, like, wooden shacks in uh, Reangel will explode if, uh, if they're hit by a falling mine or whatever the hell those are supposed to be. Nope, 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 not, not even. They were clearly not a true member of the truck community. It's good that you claimed our lost sibling from their unworthy <coughs> clutches. That's true. Betrayed by my own truck. Yeah. So everyone, this is Daniel. Daniel, my brother, you are older than me. And Daniel's gonna take us up to, oh, I don't think Daniel is going to end up taking us to Campo Militaria. Cause we don't, uh, have that kind of time. I don't think we can get all the way over there before the zone closes, and that's no longer a useful place to be. Daniel, we love and accept you. Welcome to our fold. You know, I've never let an entire truck into my folds before, but I'd give it a shot. You know, there's a reason our stream is rated mature and that reason is because occasionally I'll say something horrible like that. That's the reason. So, um, if you're, uh, if you're 
under 17, go ask your parents. There's nothing mature about this. I mean, isn't there? I don't think a young person could fit an entire truck in their folds. She says, rolling, she says, doubling down on a bad idea. It's those, you know, you, nah, no, nope, actually gonna stop that one. That was about to get too problematic too fast. I, I do have limits. They do exist. Let's talk about wrestling masks instead, sure. I've been, uh, meaning to put together some, uh, like a wrestling mask that I can do for, like, the character of me, right? Uh, for the YouTube updates, for those of you who don't watch, uh, our content on YouTube, because no one's watching our content on YouTube, but it's there. Just search Squirrel Lily, and, and it exists. Uh, we're not doing right by Daniel, I don't think. And the kind of, uh, to go back to the wrestling mask before I got off topic, I've been doing, uh, I've been drawing stuff for the thumbnails for our YouTube videos, and... Like, I've gotten down what Annie looks like, more or less. I've gotten down what uh, Alice and Katie should look like. Uh, and I've drawn myself once or twice, and it looks like me, but I don't want it to look like me. I want it to look like a character version of me, and I think the wrestling mask is the way to do that. And the thing about wrestling mask is you can't just say, boom, here is a wrestling mask. You kind of got to think about what you're your design is saying, right? Rey Mysterio has probably one of the best known designs in wrestling. Because it's very it's very distinct and it's uh there we go. Wrestling masks come from the tradition of clown paints, exactly. Alright, so Daniel. Um we're gonna leave you here now. And you know, you've been through some abuse, and some of that's from me. And I'm sorry, but, um... I've met someone else. Her name is Evangeline, and that's, uh... You know, come back to me when your smoking problem's fixed. The Daniel is dead long with Evangeline. Uh, yeah, every... The clown paints are unique, and every wrestling mask is unique, and you need to think about what you're saying with your mask. So I think uh, a kind of circuit board look is what I want. I kind of have in my head how it looks. I just need to, like, sit down and draw it out proper so I can uh, get a kind of design document. What's the what's the thing I want? There's a word here. A real word that means a real thing. Style guide. A style uh, style guide together. Wow, we really still just have the shotgun and the Uzi, don't we? I didn't even load the shotgun. So that's neat. You don't look like you dropped your payload. Come on, one time. One time right on top. Best and brightest. Nope. Alright, that's fair. Flare... We don't have a flare gun. Flare guns don't happen in, uh... Like, not... Custom games. The flare guns don't spawn in regular games. They're, uh, they're custom only. Which is weird. Well, not weird, I guess. It just kind of makes sense, but they want to... It's kind of the Overwatch test server thing. They want to give it a shot and see how it's going to... 
because regular games have no flair. You're not wrong. Right, exactly. They're going to... Uh... Wow, we just don't have anything for this. I think Evangeline's... I think Evangeline wandered off without me. Excuse me one second. Evangeline... No, it's... Honey, honey, I need you to get away from the rock. I need you to get away from the rock. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go out to here. Which I think is a... Seer oh, sorry, I just bumped the mic. Which I think is a series of shacks. I'm still trying to get more use of this map. Why do these trucks have no handbrake? They don't need a handbrake. They can already, like... Uh, I was about to say they can already drift, but they kind of can't. I'm, I'm trying to make that happen, but it's really hard. They don't uh, drift so much as fishtail, which is a very different experience. Excuse me. Oh, handbrakes for, for parking on... Oh, right, that's what handbrakes do in real. In day-to-day in -day -day life, that is their their specific purpose, the thing they were created for, as opposed to um, some Fast and Furious shit, which is what I apparently am on. Uh, I'm a little, I got a little too Tak Fujiwara for my own good. I apologize. A little Vin Diesel? No, I'm sticking with Tak Fujiwara. I mean, I have a chance of being Jack Fujiwara. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. Get the same ammo. The exact same ammo. Maltovs, we can... Uh, we can do some stuff. I would really like a long-range weapon, to be honest with you. The UMP has... A not inconsiderable amount of range, but ooh, level three military vest is soup's use. So it's a level three backpack and an eight times scope. What the hell? Um, but I really need a rifle to put some of this shit on. Oh, we can put an eight times scope on our on our automatic shotgun. So that's, that's good. That's really useful. That's exactly what we want. There's, there's a, there's an M16. We'll put it over there. That's a little Charis Theron, a little Gal Gadot. Oh, son of a bitch, I just absolutely. I did a stupid joke where I put the 8X scope on the thing. And it's like, oh, you shouldn't have done that, dumb style. Why did you do that? You just lost the thing. Oh, you don't even take an 8x scope, because of course you don't. Because you're a fucking M16. You're a bullshit gun, and the Germans made a better version of you. Please to go fuck off somewhere. <laughs> Yes, it is also a little Tyrese Gibson, a little ludicrous. Are you just naming all of the M16 <laughs> confirmed for scope hipster? Oh, here we go. Car, car 98K. That's better than nothing. Um, there's a lot of things we can't do with it, but we can attach a giant fucking scope to it. We can kill people from a significant distance. Uh, uh, don't pretend like you didn't just rubber band me a little bit. I saw you just rubber band me. I'm not happy. Uh, okay, do I have enough? Yeah, I've got some first aid kits and some painkillers so we can get ourselves back up to full real quick. While we're waiting, I don't think that anyone's gonna come to where we are. Oh crap, the zone closed and I super didn't notice. Uh, we're gonna take Evangeline all around the back there so that we can pop up over the crest of the hill. 
so we can stay out of sight as much as possible. Where did I leave you? Evangeline? Honey? Where'd you go to? Evangeline? Oh no, did Evangeline run away? Evangeline, I'm sorry. I, I'll, I'll take you back to the rock. I'll, I'll let you play on the rock as much as you want. Just, honey... Oh, there you are. Thank goodness. Press X to Evangeline. I think Evangeline ran off with Daniel. Uh, I'd believe it. I would deserve that. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a particularly good or faithful truck wife, or a human wife. Two trucks. I'm not certain of the terminology. We'll work it out. Right here. That's beautiful. Why are there red dots in hollow sites? They serve the same purpose as the already on screen prompts. Um, uh, they're for first person use. Like, there's kind of a. There's a difference between this, which is like kind of chunky and difficult to see through, and seeing a dot. You don't still have a dot in first person, you have this. You have the iron sights. Which is useful. I think that, like, shooting in third person is more useful if you don't have a scope, but, you know. There are people who would prefer this. Ooh, that's an awful small zone. That's what she said. It didn't you it didn't used to have that much gone on strain, so now they serve some purpose. Yeah. It's uh and the red dots I prefer the red dot to the hollow site because the the holographic site's a little too chunky for me, and I uh are we just going to leave Evangeline where she is? She'll be fine. She's not affected by the zone. Um, listen, Evangeline, we're going to leave you here for a little while, okay? So, um, when all this is over, and I have my delicious chicken dinner, I'll come back for you. And we'll drive off to uh, San Martin, and we'll have a, we'll have a, a nice little get-together. But you're just going to have to chill there now. For a little while, okay? Love you. It is called Graveyard. That's a really good title. I'm worried now that I spent a little too much time, like, saying goodbye to Evangeline, and now we're gonna... Now Jafar's gonna catch up with us. But, uh... I think we can get there. My worry is that we're going to be shot across these wide open hills and valleys all across this great land. Tell you what, though, I think we made the right call. Uh, driving to the north and moving in because we've been pretty unassailed. Oh god, there's not really a good place to be anywhere down here, is there? Like, I guess this rock is the most non-lethal spot to be in right now. I'm 
not very happy about that. On the other hand, it does kind of look like we're all alone. This is actually quite a l large circle for 15 people, so it's possible we just got lucky. I did get her some ear contact over that way. Oh, and over this way now. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring up Mumble real quick, and you're going to hear the music get a little bit quieter. I'm still really enjoying the music, but I want to have a bit more... I want to have a bit more audio fidelity in the game so I can hear footsteps and shots. Um... Yeesh, that is a lot farther. That is a lot farther than I want it to be. I'm gonna move this way over the hill. That looks pretty clean right now. Uh, can we get to that shed? Yes, we can, but we're going to get shot while we're getting to that shed. Fortunately, whoever's firing at us apparently doesn't have a clean view and also is a terrible shot. So that's good. Yep. Uh-huh. Sure. Happy for you. I think we got there? Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where these shots are coming from, so uh, random serpentining is the place to be. Uh, we switched to auto fire. Oh no! Instead of that, we brought up the the steam overlay. Uh oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Good. Good. All right. We should be relatively safe here unless there's someone directly upstairs, which would be just my luck right now. Yeah, we did take one right in the butt meat. I'm not happy about taking one right in the butt meat, but um There's not a lot we can do about that. Right now, we're we're very safe. We just gotta wait for the zone to close again, so we know we're safe to go. We're also in the top ten. Oh, that's right over the hill. Can we go upstairs? We can go upstairs. Well, whoever was shooting was this whoever was shooting at us before, I can't really see them now. It is unfortunate, but I believe our only play is to pop up over this. Thank you for the running count. I appreciate it. Just to pop up over this and just run in to the next hill. Which is going to leave us wide open to whoever was firing at us before. Maybe they don't remember we're here. That'd be nice. Someone shooting, certainly. Is it from up on the hill? No. Some shots out there in the distance. 
It is also possible that they died, yeah. There were, uh, there was a lot of popcorn. And we've gone from 15 to 5 very quickly. So we're just gonna tummy time for a little while. We're as safe as we can make ourselves, I think. Still, please. Uh! Well, yep. Oh, you were like right on me, weren't you? Ooh. That was rough. Top four, though. Let's see where I got murdered from. Oh yeah, right on the other side of the hill. Like, if I had been a little more patient and went over, I would have seen them. They're about to hear me shoot. Yep, there it is. And they're like, oh, you are right over there also as well. Yep. Absolutely correct decision. <laughs> winner, winner, fried tofu dinner. It's the, it's the vegetarian option. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Alright, so that's been the games, uh, I think. Let's, uh, let's see where we are BP-wise. Oh, we're only 55 away from being able to get another one of those crates. I'm probably going to play another game after we go off air, but I want to, like, quit this now. It was a superb note to end on. I did very well. I'm quite proud of myself, and I'm very glad all of you were here with me. Uh, so we're going to do this real quick. And take off the uh, that music and replace it with this one. I presume this music is working. I made a whole new uh, outro screen. How about it? Uh, thank you, all of you, for uh, being with us. Thanks for everyone who popped in and out. Uh, thank you to our subscribers and anyone who's following. If you saw this and you like what we're doing and you also uh, follow the channel, or if you don't follow the channel, do that. Hit the follow button. Uh, see when we're going live. Uh, I'm Christy. I play every Monday here on Squirrel Lily. Uh, and I've decided that I'm going to do PUBG every other week. And then on the off weeks, we're going to play other stuff. So if you like more, if you want to watch me play more PUBG, it'll be in two weeks. If you just want to see me play stuff, I'm every Monday. Uh, my wife Katie has been providing the music. She... Uh, plays games every Friday. She's going to start uh, Dark Dreams Don't Die or D4 next Friday. And uh, streaming on the channel as well is Alice, Annie, and Sue. You can see their schedules below us. Uh, Alice is about to start playing uh, Lego Dimensions on Thursday, and that's going to be a hell of a thing. You should come and check that out. And Annie's in the middle of uh, Near Automata probably going to be some more paladins. Sue's still playing Dark Souls every Sunday. Uh, check our schedule below if you want to see what we're doing there. Uh, if you have other weird rule sets for me to play under, uh, I, suggest that you, I suggest that you contact us uh, either on Mastodon, I can be found at aka hailing at queer.party, or on email. Our email is squirrellily spelled as it's spelled on your screen at gmail.com. And that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for uh, coming in. We appreciate you. Until I see you next time, stay safe.